hello friends uh, welcome to my new video and in this video I will be talking about the basics of the invariance principle uh, so without further ado uh, let's begin so if you are given a task uh, given a state a and you are given a step that you need to perform repeatedly on and that state uh, so your task is that uh, if you are if you are applying that task uh, repeatedly uh, onto state a the state of a will change but you have to look for what doesn't change or what stays the same or what remains invariant so this uh, this observation is like really very helpful uh, to solve various kind of problems uh, so i'll give you an example of uh, so suppose you are in in state a and you want to reach state B and uh, to reach state B uh, you are given uh, steps uh, uh, an operation which you need to perform uh, repeatedly and you want to tell tell me whether you can reach state B starting from state A by applying those series of steps uh, so for example A may be uh, a number 1 and B can be a 10 and the step that you need to perform is uh, maybe addition you can add one to uh, uh, state A and uh, in 10 steps you will reach state B which is 10 like 1, 1 plus 1, 2 plus 1, 3 plus 1 so ultimately you will reach uh, state B uh, so this is just an example but uh, in, 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 uh, in various other kind of problems uh, you will s notice that uh, no matter how many times you apply that step uh, there are certain properties that, uh, that of uh, a state which will remain the same uh, and we call those invariant properties so if uh, A has certain invariant properties that are not changing uh, over time uh, as you apply those steps and similarly B where you want to reach has certain invariant properties and if these two properties are equal then then you can say that you know uh, you may or may not reach state B starting from state A uh, this transition may or may not happen but what if these two properties are not equal so if these two prop uh, properties invariant properties are not equal you can like surely 100% you can say that you know you can never reach uh, state B starting from state A because these two have different uh, invariant properties and these properties will not not change I mean no matter how many times you apply uh, uh, those steps so this transition from A to state B will never happen and that's basically what the invariance principle is um, so thanks for watching and uh, happy learning